So, at the beginning of the week, Apple officially announced, along with iOS 11, that they're going to include a built-in screen recorder with their iPhones and iPads. And since then, I've been inundated with hundreds, if not thousands, of questions on the subject. So here's everything you need to know from all the questions that you've asked about what we know so far on Apple's iOS screen recorder. Let's start with the most pressing question. What Apple devices is iOS 11 going to be compatible with? I must have been asked this question a hundred times already, so here's the official compatibility list for iOS 11. If your device isn't on there, then it's a 32-bit device and it's at least three years old. It might be time to upgrade. You'll be stuck on iOS 10 or iOS 9, where you'll have to rely on AirShow or EveryCord to still work. As for whether you should upgrade to iOS 11 beta for the screen recorder, my advice is no. It's still a little buggy and any benefits you get from a native screen recorder will be offset massively by a very buggy operating system in general. If you have a spare device to play with, go for it, but if it's your daily driver, definitely not. Does the screen recorder only record internal system sounds, not sounds picked up from any microphones? I'm going to say yes with a caveat. Listen to this. So what we have right here is some terrible audio video sync, with the audio being two or three seconds in front of a video. It doesn't always do this, but today it was being temperamental. But yes, it does record internal sounds without recording the microphone, all of which you can hear in the device speakers while you're recording. There's just a few bugs that still need fixing. Alright then, can it record with a microphone as well? And this is what the recording sounds like with a microphone switched on. So we still have game sounds, but you can also hear my voice. So yes, it does record sounds and your voice at the same time, if that's how you want to record a screen. Can you do screen recordings without access to the internet? Well, that is a pretty darn easy thing to test. All I need to do is bring it to the control center, put my device into flight mode and tap that screen recording button and see what happens. It looks as if a recording has started. I'll do a couple of swipes and then go to Clash Royale. Probably that will give me an error, but it has no internet connection and that should be beautiful. Perfectly working screen recording with no Wi-Fi connection. Does the screen recorder record in landscape? Okay, here's what a recording looks like in landscape on an iPhone. You can tell it's in landscape from the orientation of a control center, but watch what happens when I switch back to my landscape game. It forces a recording back into a portrait mode. At this point, you can see that everything is now squashed. Some people have suggested rotating the image in a video editor, but it's not as simple as that because the image has been squashed into a portrait aspect ratio. With the help of an airshow recording on iOS 10, this is how the game should look in landscape mode with the scoreboard at the top. So what you would have to do with the iOS 11 iPhone screen recording is not rotate the image, but stretch it back out again to landscape. Some people have said in the comments that it records fine in landscape for iPads anyway. I can't confirm this personally yet, but I'm hoping this landscape recording bug should be fixed for iPhones by the final iOS 11 release. Give me some more information about the file properties of each screen recording. If I stick the files on a PC, here's what I can tell you. First of all, the file names appear to be random, and there's no way to rename name them when you start recording. The videos record in MP4 format and they are very friendly to video editors, no evidence of any glitching anywhere yet. Recording resolution seems native to the device, in this case an iPhone 7 which is 750 by 1334 and the bitrate tends to hover at around 3000 and that frame rate is always above 50 which is excellent. The one oddity at the moment seems to be the audio quality which is all over the place and that probably explains why there does seem to be audio issues at this point especially with internal audio recordings. What's the maximum length the screen recorder can record for? This is one of those how long is a piece of string questions. What I can tell you is that I did a microphone audio screen recording of Clash Royale for nine and a half minutes and it worked flawlessly. In fact, what I did realize during this recording is that it seems far more reliable when you record with a microphone switched on. 
Incidentally, the file size of this recording was 270 meg, so you're looking at a file size of around 250 meg for every 10 minutes of video recording. I also noticed during this screen recording that it did that weird thing that all other screen recorders seem to do, in that it killed the music, so I could only hear the game sound effects while playing it. And what other recording options does it have? Um, no. No face cam, no touch input, no attached video editor. This is definitely official iOS screen recording app version 1.0. And that is pretty much everything I need to know and everything you need to know about the first iteration of the official Apple screen recorder on iOS 11 beta. No doubt there will be future releases before the official release where we'll see updates and perhaps some new features, let's hope for some, and I'll let you know as soon as possible in new videos. If you have any questions, I would say pop them in the comments below, but unfortunately I'm losing this recording space again for another two weeks, so you won't see any videos for me in that time. I'm really sorry about that, but well, that's the way things go. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Video Gadget channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this in two weeks. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Well, I guess if I can't record any videos, it's time to go on holiday.